every one of us longs to have financial freedom, or at the very least, earn more than you currently do. Be able to work hours on your own terms, instead of being at the mercy of the schedule overlord, who no matter how many times you tell them you can't work on Monday morning, you still continue to find yourself scheduled into that time block. What if I told you that you could say goodbye to the traditional nine to five? Today, we're gonna look at Instacart, a grocery delivery app that promises to solve just that problem. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of All Gimmicks. Today, we are gonna be deep diving into the food delivery service world, but more specifically, Instacart, a grocery delivery app that has a bold claim that you can make over $20 per hour delivering groceries. Yes, you heard that right. $20 per hour delivering somebody else's groceries. I know this all sounds absurd, but what if I told you it's actually obtainable? Personally, I've had days on either side of that $20 an hour figure, and some of them quite a bit more than that. But before we dive into the financial side of things, I think it's important that we discuss how it all began. The year is 2012, and Apurva Meta, a former Amazon employee, was fed up with grocery shopping. And I mean, who can really blame him? The long lines, the searching for a parking place, trying to find a cart, let alone figuring out where they hid the stuff you want to buy. It was this aversion to the supermarket that reportedly led him to vow that he would not buy groceries again until he was able to order them and have them delivered from his own app. He was not only the founder of the app, but he was the godfather of all Instacart shoppers, being the first person to accept and deliver an order. Eh, yeah, it was to his own house, but still, he walked to the store and hand delivered his first order. With that, Instacart was born. Fast forward to 2020, where that which shall not be named is sweeping across the country, leaving many businesses closed and many employees now finding themselves jobless. But that didn't slow down this quirky little app. In fact, it almost doubled its user base and 5 x its employees. To put it in perspective, at the end of 2019, Instacart had 100,000 employees, and sometime after the beginning of that which shall not be named, they rose to a staggering 500,000 employees. While I was not in the initial frenzy of new hires, word quickly spread and I caught wind of it through social media and other YouTubers on the platform. In my ever going search to try and ditch the traditional nine to five, I said, what the hell, let's give this a try. And I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, it was all a bit overwhelming to be tasked with somebody else's grocery list in a store you're not familiar with, looking for products you've never heard of, that's a bit overwhelming for anyone. However, that's a feeling that quickly fades as you soon become accustomed to not only the stores, but the employees within them who are more than willing to help you find products that they know where they live. And it kind of forces you to learn about all sorts of food that you may have never thought of before. For instance, the other day, I was tasked with trying to find pickled pig's feet, which in my own travels would have never been something that I added to my shopping cart. My initial goal with Instacart was to try and earn $40,000 in my first year, which to my surprise is actually pretty doable, provided of course there are batches to be delivered, that is, which with the great resignation of 2021. I slowly found that to be a little bit harder than I had originally anticipated, as especially in my area, there were days where there seemed to be a surplus of shoppers and just not enough orders to go around for everybody. <sighs> but that's not to say that as the popularity of the app continues to grow, that some sort of equilibrium between shoppers and the people placing orders won't be found. Also. I've limited myself down pretty much. I live in Vermont, which if 
you even know where Vermont is, you'll know that it is very sparsely populated and traveling can be in the excess of an hour to get to another town that even has a grocery store. So there's been some days where I get out there and I'm just not motivated to drive an hour, hour and a half one way to go find out if there's even jobs available in that town. But enough of the babble. I know you came here to figure out how much you can earn delivering groceries with Instacart, and we're going to dive right into that. I do have to give you a disclaimer, though, because your earnings may not be reflective of my earnings. Like, if you live in an area that needs more shoppers than my area, you could find yourself earning more than what I made. If you live in an area where it's a lot like where I am, where there's too many shoppers to too little jobs, you could find yourself below this. But this gives you a pretty good idea as I live in a state with less people than some of you probably have in your town. Also, you should take it into consideration that as you're first getting into the swing of things and learning your stores and where things live, it's gonna slow down your time because Remember, when you're doing a job like this, it's commission and tip based, which means the longer it takes you in store, the less effectively you make per hour. You still get say, paid the same per batch, but if you're looking at it on an hourly basis, you're gonna earn less if you're standing around the store going, Dang! looking for where the pickled pig's feet are, for instance. Since grabbing my first cart and wandering around the stores, I've worked a surprisingly small 447 hours. And in that time, I've earned $7,671.71, which comes out to be an average of $17.16 per hour. And I know you're saying, I thought you said that you could earn in the excess of $20 an hour. This is 100% true. But, with anything commission-based, there's gonna be a little bit of fluctuation in what you make. So for instance, there's gonna be times in the app where you are supposed to wait for a customer to reply if they've asked you to take a picture of a section where a missing product that they have ordered lives so that they can pick a replacement product. Not everybody immediately responds. And there's been times where I've found myself waiting 20, 30 minutes in between replies so on a 14 item order, I spend an hour and a half in the store sitting there going, waiting for them to respond to, you know, maybe they didn't have flaming hot Cheetos and now I've taken a picture of the chip aisle so that they can figure out what they want to wait 20 minutes to find out they want nothing, which is great, but irrelevant to the point. Also, Instacart tracks all the time you are logged in. So say you're sitting having your morning coffee, getting ready to hit the road. The second you hit online so you can start seeing batches pop up on your phone, it starts ticking a timer. So my timer within the app is skewed a little bit from these moments of waiting, including travel time and lunch breaks. In fact, if we were to factor in lunch breaks alone, we would take out 28 hours of the 447, which would bring me down to 419 hours worked or $18.31 an hour, which isn't too dang bad for going to grab somebody some Ben and Jerry's as well as a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos for an impromptu movie night with their loved ones. And I should mention that with the regions, it's location based. So one of the downsides of Instacart is you have to travel to some of these areas to even find out if they have jobs. So I found myself on occasion driving an hour one way just to find out that there's no jobs in the area and turning around and driving back. It happens, but sometimes you can go to these towns and it's a gold mine. You're the only shopper there and you can make a slaying. While Instacart certainly isn't gonna get me to the goal of $100,000 this year, it's definitely gonna be a valuable asset in my toolbox towards earning some capital to some other projects, especially fast, because I know it's there, I know there's a demand, and I know that I don't have to wait. Like the downside of eBay is sometimes you'll list things on there and it could be a week before they even sell. Instacart gives you instant gratification with being able to go out and earn some money fast. So if you need money for dinner, 
you could do a couple of Instacart deliveries and bam, you've got money for groceries in a few short hours. If you are interested in becoming a shopper yourself, please check the description below. I have a referral code in there. And while they aren't sponsoring me themselves, you do get a kickback from your referral code. And it would mean the world to me if you guys went ahead and used that referral code, if you do go ahead and sign up. Thank you for watching. And if you've made it this far, please consider hitting the thumbs up button as well as considering subscribing to the channel to hear more about my adventures in the land of being an entrepreneur. Till next time, I'm out.